All right, guys, so today we got called out for a minor explosion, uh, according to one of the operators in the machine shop. And here is the uh, culprit right here. This is an Acer uh, mill, and the actual explosion happened behind the mill on one of the auxiliary circuits. So this is the uh, supply voltage circuit that was supplying voltage to this auxiliary circuit. But right upon getting in here, I noticed that the prongs on the recepts are and the plugs are all pulled out. So being in a machine shop, metal fragments, metal shards, uh, scraps and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure we already know what happened here, but let's go ahead and find out. So in order to start the process of troubleshooting, I brought some of the usual suspect. So right here we have a fluke multimeter, and right here we have a bag of some basic hands tools, which is some uh, insulated screwdrivers, pliers, needle nose, etc. But I'm pretty positive that this guy right here is going to do most of the troubleshooting. So the first thing we want to do is plug in our circuit tracer, our circuit tester, and make sure that our wall socket still has power. So that tells us that the fault didn't make it back to the breaker. It was localized right here at the auxiliary receptacle unit. So after pulling out all the plugs, I can see the uh, circuit in question. It looks like a piece of metal shrapnel got stuck in between the hot conductor and the ground. But if we look at the plug, you can see a little bit of arcing on there, which really isn't bad. So we're gonna have to basically swap out this receptacle and maybe actually swap out the entire box and put in a dome cover box in order for uh, when they're blowing off all this metal shrapnel that this uh, these uh, leads aren't exposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this receptacle re repaired and I'm gonna probably think about installing a dome cover box uh, to avoid this from happening in the future. But that was pretty much the process on troubleshooting a receptacle and diagnosing what actually happened. We had a short from hot conductor to ground and it was a pretty easy find. We didn't even have to open the box. It was pretty apparent. It made itself visible to us right away. And um, that was just pretty much my process in troubleshooting. Uh, one of many problems I encounter daily. So I hope everybody got a little something out of this. And if you did, enjoy. Thank you.